Hi guys, uh, one last video update um, for a long while I think um, because I've been busy with work and stuff. Yeah, I won't have a camera for the next four to five days or so. So anyway, um, <coughs> um, I received two happy mail. One's from uh, Patricia from um, Pets, Treasures and Crafts. I think I, I I hope I got the YouTube name correct. Um, she's one of my uh, winners. I'm gonna give away uh, like the very first one I gave away. I think so, and um, <coughs> yeah, and and one of the videos I, I I saw that she 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 got like the stamps from like somewhere. It was really cheap, and I was like, wow, I don't even get stamp a, a stamp like singular small tiny stamp for that kind of that kind of price. But so it was re really cool. And I was like, like I know it'd be quite cool if you no know, um <coughs> if we get, get get kind of prices. So um. We went back and forth and talking about it, and so in the end, she surprised me with a stamp. Um, yeah, so this is the stamp set. This is um, from uh, Inka Dinka So this is like, the tiles one. It's really cool. Um, the one I really like is the cameo one, and then there's a watch one here. Um, I really like this one because of the, the female feature that, that is slanted rather than, than the face one which is really cool um, the silhouette um, ones with one with the hand and the one with the neck this is really cool too um, I like all the small little uh, jewels we really love this like one that says gold and silver gold and silver gold and silver just words are running all across I can imagine a ton of things I can do these I'm gonna show you um, one little project and, I, and this kind of fits in with how it's gonna work out in the future Okay, so this is one of the Happy Meal. The yeah, Happy Meal came from uh, Nicole Hooper, and uh, she was also one of the, the people that got one of my giveaways some time ago. And um, I think last week or the week before, she asked me to expect something in the mail. So um, took a small peek. Um, yeah, so the tag that she gave, um, some of the stuff that she gave me. Cool. Uh, I don't even get these stuff around here very much. For Michael, she got a cross necklace. Um, this is really cool. It is really pretty. I'm gonna wear this. <laughs> um, she also got from Hampton Art a six foot long clear stems, which are great because if you're on like layouts, this uh, six by six layouts, these are great. And if you're on top of a shelf, just stick two together. This is really cool. I like this like like date thing and with like Sunday to Saturday and just numbers and this tools the tools are important <laughs> for card making at least. Um thanks for that. She also got me some flowers, frosted flowers. Really really cool stuff. Never seen these before. Did she make it herself? I think she might have. Yeah, I think she might have made this herself. This is really cool. Um Okay, what else did she say in the stash? Oh my goodness! Okay, wait, 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 I have to take this out and see. Okay, a button from the thing came out so I can kind of guess what it is. Okay. So she sent me some like this, like, see-through kind of trim. Some of this cool, like, binding thing. This is really cool, this is really nice trim. Um, so this cool vintage button. These are really, really cool. Seriously. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah, she sent me the uh, die cuts for the die cut I don't have. Um, these are the Tim Holtz um, dress forms, which I don't have the die cuts for. But it's great. I mean, like. Um, Sometimes I just work, love working with the dies because I know that um, I might not necessarily use um, all of them at all. Like I might use like two or three of them, and it doesn't seem to make sense to like get a die right. And and these are great. How should we got them together? Okay, and these are great. Um, yeah. Um, well, I'm not a fan of dress forms per se, but I really did like Tim Holtz dress forms uh, because of the fact that the that the waistline is really like slim, 
and you can do a lot of altering on this. So uh, this is really cool. Um, who knows, after working with these, I might actually fall in love with fierce forms and um, might actually end up getting the die. <laughs> but this is, this is really cool. What part is missing? Hmm. Over here somewhere. Okay, anyway, um, there's also the transparency frames from the color box. Um, this is really cool. Mm, I've seen these before. Um, that's because the any color box collection you get from here is tragic. Um, there's a heart shape, there's this shape. I love working transparencies. Love, love. And this is really cool. I love this too. Um, and this one as well. As I can tell, I'm a bit uh, sick. I was packing out my room and I think I'm probably catching a cold from what it. Um, might not be a cold, I'm just allergies. It's really bad. Like, my eyes can't close properly. Goodness grief. <laughs> Which also means that I need to really clean up my room. The room is really, really bad. Um, I'm generally a neat crafter, but. Um, my other stuff is not so neat, they are like all over the place, too much books, uh, boxes collecting dust on the side. Yeah, I have to get this thing working. Okay, so, hmm, I wonder if it's inside. It's okay. Um, yeah, I don't see a button. So this is really cool stuff, uh, thanks to Cole. And a couple of things I want to share. Uh, with you guys, um, so this morning I was like playing around with stuff, um, couldn't get back to sleep because I was trying to battle with jet lag. Um, um, yeah, like the whole of yesterday I pretty much slept through it, except for the giveaway. Um, and then I went, I went back to sleep and really it was, it was like a pig. Um, okay, so I had, um, I, I had some time to play around with stuff um, in the morning. Um, this was sure well. I did this mixed mini domino because I was playing with my uh, UD, which I finally got. Um, so this is okay. I'm not sure whether the light's capturing this because this is really cool, and you guys got to see this. Come on, focus. Okay, so you can see there that this is a domino. Um, I alcohol in like brown, cedar brown or something. Um, you um put washi tape, which is also brown. So um, kind of gave um that. Give that more look. Um, I stamped three um, Stamper Bass images here. Um, come on, focus. Focus. Okay, so you can see like the Stamper Bass images here. And I tied um, on the other side, I because it's kind of like a dome, like a, like a vacuum, what do you call that? Valley, I don't know. <laughs> The hole there. So what I did was that I, um, I took some cardstock. I stamped another stamper bass like um, background, and uh, what I did later was I um, put UD over like a pot UD in. I don't have the UD melt pot, so what I literally did was I took aluminum foil. I took a pair of pliers and I held the aluminum foil the bowl, like fold into the shape of a bowl, and I just used the heat gun below. So it was like it was completely primitive, um, but it still worked out. And then I put the paper clip uh, within that um, kind of like half soft melted um, um, UD before it completely dries. And that held the paper clip in place, distressed it a little with black ink. And then I tied this up uh, with metal wire. And it sort of becomes this really cool charm because um, you know, the metal wire creates a hole up here. And I did one of the, I don't know, the chain elongated things. <laughs> So this is kind of like really cool, kind of like a charm that I mean, makes me the charm. Um, I also did some um, flowers. Um, my friend actually got an extra uh, EK Success 2 inch uh, 5 petal flower die, which is this one. Uh, so I decided to play with that and I came up with 5 flowers. Um, we love making these and they're, they're quite addictive. <laughs> uh, how am I going to say I have no idea. Um, yeah, so that's all the updates. You probably haven't seen the update for a while. Um, I really hope to catch you guys long as I do my projects and stuff. So um, hopefully next time you see me, I'll be able to share my uh, travel journal with you. Um, in the end, I actually made another travel journal. 
uh, for my trip to US um, because I kind of figured that the previous one I made was a bit small-ish for a 14-day like tour of north um, eastern side of US um, and Toronto as well. So um, I'm gonna like go put in photos and stuff, and then I'll share my my little trip with you guys. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys the next time, hopefully with the video. Bye.